Hello everyone, I am Suma, he is Prashant from Computer Science Department. Our game is titled as PyGalaxian Game. We have used Python as programming language and PyGame module. Coming to the introduction, as the player starts the game, he should constantly shoot and dodge to save themselves from the blow of asteroids. If asteroid hits the player, the health bar decreases and if the player hits the asteroids, the score increases. Coming to the implementation of our game, we, we have used multiple modules which are inbuilt in Python. Uh, the first module is operating system module, that is OS module, creates an interface between user and system. And the second module is Pygame module. This is the main module which we have used, which contains multiple computer graphics and uh, sound libraries, which is used to create Python. And another one is time module. In our project, time module is used whenever the user wants to pause the game. The next module is math module. It is used to increase the score and random module in basically random module is to generate random numbers in our project random module is used to generate random bullets which are generated from user and as well as asteroids and uh, this is the main module as the health bar even generates randomly this part of the code is the display code where the background of the game is displayed which where we have used multiple colors that is black white having multiple dimensions this part of the code is user input code where the user gives input to the system that is using left and right arrows and upward arrow is used to generate bullets from the user. And this part of the code is health bar where the health bar decreases and increases based on the actions performed by the user that is hitting the asteroids and asteroids hitting the user. The health bar movement is based on that actions performed by the user. This is the final code of our project. Let's run the game now. Here the resources are loading. Here we can see this is the display screen where the title is entitled as Pi Galaxy. We have two options here, play and exit. We can access these uh, two options using upward and downward keys. Let's play the game. Here you can see the user is uh, attacking the asteroids and asteroids are attacking the users. Uh, here the health bar decreases as the asteroids hit the bullets to the user. As you play the game, the score will be increased and the multiple types of asteroids double edge to the user. As you can see now, there are two types of asteroids approaching the user, decreasing the health bar, and uh, health kits also being randomly generated. As you can see on the screen, the health kit is being generated randomly. When the user takes that, the health bar will be increased. As the score increases, the difficulty level of the game increases, making the game more interesting. As you can see, the health is running out. As the health runs out, the game ends and the display screen is over here where we have the score is displayed and when you press the enter, we'll exit. Hello everyone, my name is Daniel. These are my friends Nikita and Rakesh. We are from CIC department. We have developed a game which is known as Knots and Crosses by using Python. Along with physical games, people also like to play computer games. We have developed a computer game known as Knots and Crosses which is played on a 3x3 grid, there will be two participants. Each participant is assigned with two symbols X or O. The winner of the game is the participant who covers first the horizontal, vertical or diagonal row having only their symbols. Actually the games look like this. We have two different symbols, one is cross and one is not. Next my friend will explain the implementation of this game. Now let us see the implementation of this game. Now we see the source code. Here we have used a module called Pygame. Pygame is a cross-platform set of Python modules designed for writing video games. It includes computer graphics and sound libraries designed to be used with the Python programming language. Here, we are initializing the width, height and other parameters globally. We have created a window and we have resized the images to the required size. First, it's extern. Next, it's old stone. The player who satisfy a winning condition at first will be declared as the winner. Now we see the second case. In the previous case, X is declared as the winner, but in this case, O is the winner. Now we see the last case. 